You had mentioned a, a civil service board of uh, members, I, I think mirroring the amount of people that would be on the, uh, the membership the city council. Uh, what would be the power and the responsibility of the civil service board of members that are on it? Uh, it was set, first of all, it was set policy as far as hiring and firing of employees. All of the personnel policies or rules and regulations would come under that, but they would also have the power to review any action against an employee, disciplinary action, termination, uh, whatever the case might be, based upon the employees at request. Today, that in the county, that resides with uh, the constitutionally elected people. Uh, see, the county, the county government is divided up into several governments on its own. Believe it or not, uh, the uh, tax assessor is elected by the people as tax assessor. So he's not under the influence of the county commission. Uh, the uh, the appraiser of property. Uh, what's another? Uh, Paul, give me another uh, department head. I can't think right now. Register of um, deeds. The register of deeds. The register of deeds is elected by uh, the people at large. They are not under the county commission. They get their budget from them uh, and that that sort of thing. But but they are free to do as they please. Uh, and those are the people who will be running our government uh, if we consolidate it. Uh, and, it's, and as you know, uh, right now, they perpetuate themselves by through incumbency, uh, for whatever reason. Um, so that's, 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 that's not good, uh, but the civil service would, would be dealing directly with the, with the employees. And today, in the city of Chattanooga, as an example, 95% um, of all terminations in the city is upheld by the city commission. Now, that's kind of one-sided. And that's because the city council, once they're elected, feel more akin to the mayor and the department heads than they do to the people who elected them. So you need a non-political board that would oversee that whole realm of, of responsibility in government. And to have it as an independent authority, civil service board like, would be the best way to achieve that. Um, just so people could get a fair shake. You know, and I think the numbers would, would balance out sometimes. Mike Feely, who was just here, has actually proposed to the city um, they're, they're, you're right, that concern about the workers getting terminated, mm -hmm. that's a huge problem. I mean, Doug, you guys are dealing with the 10% rule right now. You, you know, that's about yeah. it. This city has, this is the only city in the state of Tennessee we can find that doesn't allow workers who have been suspended for any reason to come out, you know, they don't like the way they're dressed, don't like the color of their hair. They can be sent home and they have no right in this city to file a complaint over that. No right to file a grievance. Last two county years, there have been 440 suspension days in the city of Chattanooga. And 350 of those days have been out of one department. And they have no right to, to, to appeal it. They, they're intimidated. They, they complain about it, they get terminated again. And as Mr. Freeman says, the mayor has never overturned a department head on one of these decisions. Yeah, just, just to give you an example of uh, how, how hard-hearted it can be, uh, I'm going to guess that's public works you're talking about. Uh, it's, it's standard read. Every day, uh, an administrative clerk or department head or just an average person in City Hall can stroll into work anywhere between 8 o'clock and 8.30. And no one will ever suggest to them that they're late. And no one has ever been reprimanded for being late. But the lowest paid worker in the city government is 10 minutes late, he can lose his job. And they do all the time. Without a hearing, uh, without redress of grievance, or anything. So that's, that's, that, that in itself is just discrimination by position.
because everybody else can be late, nothing is said. They can even walk off the job. People, people come to work and go to breakfast. You know, I mean, that's that's just a tradition in in office work. You know, uh, but people down here, they got to be on the money and on the job, and they have to be. They are required to be there early. The lowest worker got a raggedy car, a weak battery. And when you change season, what happens? The battery don't start, particularly going from summer or fall to winter. And he's going to be late because his battery wouldn't start. No consideration at all. I mean, summarily dismissed. Summarily disciplined. It's at the discretion of the supervisors which one it will be, too. It's just, you know, it's not, not even a good procedure. Um, uh, those are the kinds of things that you have to try to work into a, ch a charter to uh, protect people by setting up organizations or agencies, that, the way you organize the government, um, to guarantee that there will be somebody doing it. Because if you wait and leave it to the government to do it, they won't get it done. They, they haven't done it to this date.